channel you see that I didn't really keep up with the star reviews and empire reviews like I wanted to so I'm just gonna do uh, in this video a brief synopsis the last couple of episodes of star to um, show you guys excuse me what kind of happened in the last couple of episodes and um, what were my favorite parts that stuck out to me and then you guys can drop down in the comment section down below some of the other parts that were good for you so first of all, let me start by I'm happy that Star is coming around for another season because this season was very um, packed with very good episodes. I actually, even though I keep up with Empire still, um, more than most people have, you know, most of my friends, a lot of my friends stopped watching after like season three, season four. Um, so as much as I've kept up with Empire, um didn't really like this season the um the spring premiere as much as I did with Star. With Star this season I thought Star was a lot better in terms of the detail and the suspense and um uh, coming back for it, waiting for the next episode to see like, you know, what happened to Simone or uh, what happened with Andy and um, you know, the new characters that come up in each of the episodes and that was pretty uh, so I think I connected more to Star, which I hope a lot of you guys that started to watch this video um, turn on to Star. Um, I'm trying to get a lot of my friends to turn on to Star and start watching it. So um, the fall premiere probably wouldn't start till about, sorry I was looking at my calendar, probably wouldn't start till about September. So if you guys want to start watching Star, um, watch the first two uh, seasons if you haven't started already. Um, you've got probably about 28 episodes, which shouldn't be that bad. I've seen people bang through Netflix episodes of, you know, their favorite shows like that. You know, 36 episodes in like two days. And so, into this video. Uh, so, a little bit of the, uh, like, important moments in these last couple of episodes was one, Cotton meeting her son, Jaden. Um, then there was the... Lockdown in NOLA, um, NOLA, where um, they went to the Pride Parade and, you know, NOLA sings at a gay bar and he um, comes out of his comfort zone because he knows that his dad, when he was younger, left him and his mom for a guy and he was holding that in a lot and um, a lot of people were trying to, like, get him to kind of talk about it and he didn't really want to do much um, talking about it, so... That was interesting to see him, um, Star brings him out to the gay bar and says pretty much, you know, just let out whatever you're feeling. Uh, and so, a big moment was also when Jaden gets sick. Um, so Jaden ends up getting sick and he, I think he ends up having a seizure. And so, um, they end up finding that one of his kidneys is failing. So, the last couple episodes deal with him being sick and you know being in the hospital and going through the procedures secure um surgeries and stuff and his mom doesn't want cotton to cotton's like oh, okay um if your uh his mom is okay with it i'll give him one of my kidneys because you only really need one kidney to you know survive you don't need both your kidneys but um cotton's like if it's okay with his mom i'll give him one of mine and the mom's like no um, you haven't been in my son's life for a while, which wasn't Cotton's fault. She didn't know that he existed until all of a sudden um, he says he wants to meet his dad. And so because Cotton introduces Jaden to his mom and her mom and um, Hayel, Hayel is like, okay, I'll give him one of my kidneys. Uh, and the mom's like, yeah, I have no problem with that, but Cotton, I don't want you or any parts of you in my child uh, because of her uh, transforming into a woman. 
and she met her, the mom met Cotton, well, at the time, it was Arnold, so, you know, she doesn't, she's trying to adjust to, I guess, Cotton transforming, and I guess Jimin was also trying to adjust to Cotton transforming, so, that was a big um, moment to see in these last couple episodes. Another thing in those last couple episodes is when um, Star is getting a little bit jealous of Alex getting double booked with things and uh, doing all these solo things. So Maurice, uh, because he's trying to save his job because Ayana comes back, in these last couple of episodes we see that, I think it's the last two or three episodes, we see that Ayana's back and Maurice's job is on the line because he's not doing what he needs to do for the record label. And so because of his job's on the line, Natalie persuades him to find someone that would help him, you know, kind of save his job. And so he looks into Star, and we see how Star is, you know, getting jealous of Alex getting all of this um, promotion and, you know, video shoots and this uh, photo shoot and, you know, doing things with Noah all the time for photo shoots and working with Noah on his music and working on her own solo music and, so she gets really jealous of it, and Simone is like, yo, just kind of kind of trying to cool her down and say, you know, it's all for take three. Alex is doing this all for take three. She was always about take three. Um, it's not really, it is for her solo, like her herself as well, but she's always been about take three, so don't really take it to heart too much. And Star, you know how Star is. She's strong-headed, so, you know, she really takes it to heart. Uh, and the big, big part in the last couple of episodes is when Star ends up doing her own solo stuff. Um, and so everybody's, like, starting to not really like Star anymore because she's doing her own solo stuff. Alex doesn't really want to be around her. Um, Simone doesn't want to have anything to do with her. She's, like, kind of like, we're not family anymore. Um, you see that they kind of make up in episode 17, which I was glad that they did that. Um... And at one point in episode 17, Star is very mad, so she makes this diss track. And Maurice is, like, filling the diss track. And um, he's like, yeah, this is really good. I think, like, you can get some good publicity off of us. And so Star is like, uh, I don't know. I think I'll release it, but I'm not really sure. So at first she's like, eventually she decides that she's going to release it. Then afterwards, in episode 17, when... Um, Hayo passes and they have a talk. Um, take three has a talk amongst themselves. Then he calls up, she calls up Maurice and says, you know, you know, I've had a talk with the girls. I made up with them. You know, don't release the diss track because she doesn't want it to get out after they made up and then they get upset. Now, the part, the icing on top of the cake is that Maurice uh, releases that diss track anyway. And he says, Natalie, to Natalie, release this track. So episode 18, which is the season finale, we find out that the diss track is released. And Alex is upset. Kalada at first is like, you know, turn that off. Alex is like, no, I want to hear what she has to say throughout the uh, song. And it gets to the part where she's like, um, um, she's like talking about the stuff she's done for Simone. And she said, she gets to the, it gets to the part where it says, how you let, let a man take your mind off that? So Simone's like, how are you going to diss me and Angel on a diss track? Um, like upset because, you know, that's supposed to be our family. That's supposed to be our sister. And they're supposed to be in group together. So how are you going to like, she's always been about take three. Um, even when she was in Julie, she's always been about, you know, I want to be here as part of the group. And at first, Simone didn't even want to be part of a group. Um, Simone was pushed a little bit by Star, but then after they got a little bit of the limelight, Simone was, like, getting into it, and she was starting to feel it. So, like, now that Star is doing these diss tracks, it's, like, making her kind of go back to where she didn't really want to be in the group at first. And that's another big part there. We have, we find out Andy and Cassie has this thing, and, um, long story short, towards the end of the season we see that Andy you know steals some money from Cassie some people are killed um Jahal being one of them accidentally he was killed the boat was actually meant for Andy because he stole money from Cassie um and you know Cassie finds out and Cotton's upset because you know J 
Jahal and her were starting to get to know each other, and they he was connecting with Jaden, and he was connecting with the girls. You know, everybody um, was ups- was touched by you know Jahal's passing, and Angel was trying to get back into his life, and you know everybody was just every single character was uh, touched by Jahal's passing, and you know Carlotta was getting back to rekindling some feelings for him, so. Everybody was pretty much touched by it. Um, nobody really knows it's Cassie until the end of season, the end of the season, the f- finale. And so nobody really knows it's Cassie until then, which the crazy part is, you know, Carlotta tried to pull up a gun on Cassie, but Cassie came with a gun too. So I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy. Um, i like to see what would happen there. And... You know, pretty much, I hope I want to hope that Take 3 is going to make up. Um, we see towards the end that Alex goes on a trip to New York. So does uh, Cotton, because Cotton thinks Amari has something to do with Jahal being shot. Um, so Carlotta then sends Cotton and Jaden off to New York on the last plane to New York. We see that... Um, Alex also gets on to a plane to New York, and then I think um, Simone gets on a trip because uh, at this point, Angel's been deported back to um, where he came from. I think it was Dominican Republic. He's been deported back, and he wasn't really trying to fight, you know, ICE um, deporting him, so... She's like, let's let, because I don't really have to focus on take three right now, you know, let me go on this, like, international trip right now to get my mind off things and um, see how Angel's doing. Because, you know, at the end of the day, they're still married. And so that's pretty much where these last couple episodes wrap up. Um, Put down in the comment section below if there's any um, other big moments that I missed. Um... And any things, any comments, concerns, um, anything you're hopeful for in season three. And I'll see you guys back in September for season three. And I'll see you back for more videos.